welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to get the um, second ear in, maybe do a bit of this fur, we'll see, because um, this ear took a little longer than I expected, so I'm kind of expecting this ear to take a similar amount of time. Any questions, don't forget you can leave them down below and I will get back to you. All the information you need can be found in the links below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We do um, tutorials every single month. And yeah, let's get going. Okay, so I'm going to take my warm grey one um, and we are going to outline the shape of the ear. Um, this just ensures that we get the shape of the ear correct. We're not making the ears too large. We kind of know where to work within. So let me just lift some of this off. Okay, so I've just um, moved some of the uh, graphite words <laughs> and then we're just going to come in with a warm grey one and just follow in where we can see that dark depth to the ear. I'm doing this across the whole of this ear just so that we can just keep working and I'm mainly focusing on this area that's really dark okay. so we've got a nice layer of the one grey one now. Underneath uh, the black I'm going to use the Van Dyke Brown. So the Van Dyke Brown we're kind of using as another base layer just to add some depth into the black fur. And again I'm sort of making sure I'm working in between fur that's covering that part of the ear. And I'm working all the way up this ear. And this is just the darkest part so far that we're working with. And again, well, as you're doing this, remember to check that fur direction. We are going to be going over with a black and you'll be able to change the fur direction if needed. But... Okay, and then we can take our black and you can use medium pressure. I think actually I'm going to use dark sepia down this bit. So I've come about halfway, a bit more than halfway, further the way up. And this area can be black, but I think we're going to use the dark sepia there. I feel like it's not as dark. You can see I'm following that fur direction and where I feel it needs to be dark and I'm just doing multiple layers and just slowly increasing pressure. Haven't gone right up to this tip yet. I want to get uh, an even sharper black pencil as I come up there but I can use medium pressure just to start building it up. Ok, 
Okay, and then I'll just sharpen my black. I want a nice sharp point for here. Oops. I don't know why that happens with that sharpener. And you're going to get some little stray hairs coming off of there. Not a lot, but just a few. And it also means that I can just bring in a little bit of detail down here. And then I am going to use this black just along the edge. So I'm making sure it's sharp just on the edge of that ear. And then the rest of this ear, I'm going to use the dark sepia. Okay, so I'll get my dark sepia coming from that black. Just a little piece of it. And down into this ear. Okay, and then I've got the burnt sienna just in this corner. And then the beige red for that little bit of brown fur that we can see up from that burnt sienna. And you can take that burnt sienna again if you need to, just to blend all these areas nicely together oops sorry i didn't realize that wasn't in focus there you go okay so i'm sorry if that was out of focus for longer than i realized um that was totally my fault and i need to keep checking right so we have a big white whisker coming through like we do on this side so what we're going to do is we're going to do as before and we're going to use our white polychromos pencil to press really hard and make sure that we get that resist and then we can work around each section and just build up the ear from there so your white poly ew, your white ooh, i can't speak <laughs> your white polychromos pencil didn't realize that um saying white was such a tongue twister where's my putty eraser gone is there so i've got my putty eraser because again i don't want those graphite lines showing and i don't want them being embedded into that paper as we use this white and then you're going to use hard pressure bring that all the way up and it does go over that black but it's fine kind of see it just clean the edge Make sure your white is clean. So I've got one there, and then I'm going to do the one that's coming up here. So you can kind of see where the graphite hasn't erased properly. It's left those little marks, um, but the areas around the ear will hopefully distract from that. And then I'm just going to map in some of those little white hairs here. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, uh, one very warm. Let's lift some of this graphite again. And I'm just going to apply the base layer. Now, remember, we haven't got the fur in on this part of the head. So when we're doing the fur here, we need to really make sure we're going in between those hairs. So I'm going to just, as I'm applying this base layer, just create that effect of some hairs being there. And then I'm just going to bring up where we've got that brown fur. I'm going to use the warm grey one. Oh, excuse me. Oh, this filming's just not going right today. I can't speak. Hiccups. Losing things. Blurry. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so we've got a nice warm grey one base layer there. And I'm going to take my beige red in this corner here. Not pressing too hard, but I've got a nice beige red. Just blend into that warm grey one there. And I'm just going to take that white over the top of that beige red. Blend in there. Okay. Then I'm going to take my burnt sienna very lightly. And again, I'm remembering that there's fur overlapping. So I'm going to come in between. And then I'm just going to use this burnt sienna following that fur direction. So it's coming up here, but then curling round the tip of this ear. Okay, and the Van Dyke Brown, do the same. We're just going to bring that beige red in here because we've definitely got that pinkish tone there and then we've got the dark sepia and we're just going to blend this darker outline into this lighter bit of fur and to do that we're just going to bring that pencil down and just follow those dark clumps of fur so it's a sharp sepia pencil adding detail. So I've been thinking more about the um, opening a Patreon and I think with what I'm going to do with a Patreon is do like one month a dog, next month wildlife or a cat, stuff like that so that we always have the variety. Um, and with a Patreon, I think um, I will leave it open for like votes uh, going to the Van Dyke Brown. So we'll we'll vote each month what what we want to see, and I will I will draw that, and we'll do that um, on the Patreon, and then on the um, YouTube tutorials. I think once I've opened a Patreon, I'll go down to like once every other month a tutorial. And it will just be as and what um, we do. Back to the dark sepia. So that, that's kind of my thinking at the moment. It may change. I've got a lot of planning to do for it yet. But if there's anything in particular you'd like to see, if, if you want to join my Patreon, uh, do let me know. It'll be very The tutorials will be very much like this. Full length tutorials, talking along. Obviously there'll be different tiers. Um, but yeah, hopefully some of you might want to join me. <laughs> okay, so in this area it's quite light, so I've got my cold grey 2. I will do the tutorials that I've planned, that I've mentioned um, for YouTube, I'll do them first. Uh, they will happen on YouTube some exciting ones coming up actually okay and then I'm using lighter pressure as we get to that pink because we want to blend these two areas so I've got the beige red again blending up and then I'm just going to take the white Over this, okay. We need to just darken down here so the cold grey two in between that hair back to the beige red, a little bit of back and forth here. Uh, the burnt sienna, it's just about building up these tones. 
and I'm also going to take the burnt sienna along this edge okay and then we can take our uh, I'm just going to take my black and I'm just going to bring in some of those little hairs that are coming across that here you can see I'm using quite light pressure you don't need to press hard we don't want it to be a really thick line just want a few of these little hairs coming across this here and then I'm going to go to my Van Dyke Brown to sharpen this so with the Van Dyke Brown just like we did with the black just going to some hairs and especially around here where it's curving round like so right so we just got to keep coming down this ear so beige red again remembering that there's some fur and I'm not pressing hard Right up to the edge of that whisker on this warm light pressure. I'm just going to raise that graphite or lift it, make it lighter. I'm just going to apply this across all of this here. So this like the triangle section. Just working in between the whiskers gives nice little sections to work in. I'm going to take the nugget and just bring that fur around here and in this corner. Take that burnt sienna very lightly again just dragging it down from there right let's build up some more of this texture so long grey two now again I'm just going to make sure that I'm making sure what I'm doing is what I'm adding here I'm blending into the very edge here so that it looks like it's just one seamless colour it helps add to that realism you're making sure that it's all a continuation even though we're doing it in sections we want it all to look like it's a continuation of one another and then over the top of that I'm just taking the beige red And then again, warm grey too. It's going to blend down into a lighter area here. So I'm leaving like a little gap where it's a bit lighter. And then you can take the white. Okay. Then going to take our bister and with the bister we've got that line in the middle here we've got a little curve so we're just going to curve our lines with the bister and then kind of curl them that way and just bring that up and then over the top of that bister I'm going to take my copper As you know, I, I love using the copper and gold in my work. It's going to show a lot in my work is the um, copper and gold. Okay, um, and then I've got the Venetian red. There's a lot of colour going into this ear, but I want to make these tutorials as easy as I can for you all, but I also want to do them in a way that I would do my normal work like my commissions would be this colourful and I would use this many colours
And like I say, the more tutorials you do of mine, uh, one grade two, the more you may not see these colours and hopefully the more confident you'll get and you'll feel that you can tackle some of these areas yourself. Um, maybe draw along with the same reference image and just go, oh, okay, yeah, I can use this colour instead, I prefer this colour. I'm going to take the cold grey to I do want you to build up the confidence to be able to do these yourself. Uh, and then the white. Still time with the idea of maybe doing a tutorial where I don't really say the colours, but I describe the techniques I'm using or I will do a a, uh, maybe I'll do a tutorial where I do like one eye and then maybe one ear and then an example of the fur and then leave it up to you guys to do the rest I think that'd be a good challenge this is the Van Dyke Brown and we're just going to start bringing in some of those stray hairs again so we've got to make sure that we're coming from this half of the ear that we've already done underneath that whisker and into this area that we're just working on now so I've just marked my white whisker just go over that. so and then I'm just going to take my white I've got a little white hair coming there so I'm just going to press a little harder just to signify that there's a little bit of a lightness going on there also going to take my burnt sienna and just bring in some of these reddish brown hairs just just working my way between area and area okay we need to just darken this corner so back to my van dyke brown And my dark sepia. And then I'm just going to use the warm grey too to help with that blend. Okay. Okay, so as we come down this ear, we're getting a lot more orange tones. A bit more of the Venetian reds and brown ochres. Maybe an Indian red. Um, so we're just going to start section by section, small areas by small areas. So I'm just going to take my white first and I'm going to, oh, well, put your eraser, let me just lift that graphite. I can see some little white whiskers that I kind of want to preserve. So any of these white fine whisker hairs that you want to preserve, bring that white pencil in or your white polychrome moss and just draw in some of these whiter hairs. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with a beige red. Now again, remember we've got fur that we haven't drawn in here. So I'm just going to push this beige red behind that fur. And then I'm using circular motions with light pressure just to build up some of this as a base layer. And you can see, as I go over some of this white, you can see where that white is. And I've got a nice resist from that white pencil. Okay. So, it's going to start off first um, with the Venetian red in this corner. And again, behind that hair. So, we're going to draw in... That hair but we're going behind it and I'm bringing that Venetian red up the ear I'm gonna take my gold this time just over the top of that Venetian red very light pressure, I'm not pressing hard, but we're just going to deepen this Venetian red up in areas, mainly along this bottom area. Um, and then I want to start bringing some of those brown tones in. So I've got the Vista, I may need the brown ochre, this might be too dark. 
Just on that then. Okay, well, I'm happy with that. That's the um, Vista. Um, I am going to get the Sanguine though. Um, so the Sanguine is going to bring in these orange colours. So I'm just going to bring it in along this edge. And it is going up. Very light pressure. I'm not pressing hard with this at all. And into here. And then the beige red over the top of all of this. See just how quickly this is coming together actually. This is not as long as I thought. I think this happens. We get You take a while on the first part and then because you know what you're doing. You know how your colours are interacting. You can just speed up a little bit. Um, my Venetian red. And you can see I'm just working along these whiskers. I'm not drawing it over them. And it's giving that impression that these whiskers and hairs are in front of the skin of the ear. Okay. I'm going to take our one grey two along the edge of this ear. Now remember we've got some fur here. Let me just erase, lift that graphite. If your graphite's a bit too dark, don't forget to lift it. Just going to lift this graphite. Now we've got a very pinkish tone here, so I'm going to take my put Martin in this corner. Just following the shapes that I can see. It's like a, um, oh, I can't think of the word now. It's like a rectangle on its side. <laughs> there is a word that I'm looking for, but I can't think of it right now. But. Hopefully you'll be able to see this anyway. I'm just going to bring that up. I'm going to bring some little fur strokes because it's going to blend into that hair. And then over the top of that, I'm just going to take the Venetian red. Over the top of that, put Martin. And then the beige red on top of this. Harder pressure to smooth it out. And then I'm going to take my nugget and create some of these fur strokes. Okay, and then my one grow two over the top of that. I'm just going to take that white again. Right, so I need to get my copper. And with the copper, I'm going to do sort of curved strokes to signify that this part of the ear is curving. In between those whiskers and here, you can see it's just curving round the ear. And then I'm going to take my beige red over the top of that. And then I've got the nugget. And we've got some little darker hairs that I'm just going to draw in with the nugget. So, okay, it's coming along nicely this year. Right, let's get the bit of fur in here first and then we can focus on the little patch of bright skin going on there. So I've got my one grey one again and I'm not worried too much here about erasing my graphite because it's very dark and I know that I can replace how dark this is with... Um, those coloured pet with my coloured pencils. So we're just gonna come down this ear. Maybe should have lifted a little bit of graphite, but I'll be okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my nugget. 
I just sharpen this and with the nugget I'm making sure that it's going in the correct direction so I say it all the time but the fur direction really is important and I'm bringing it going to bring that nugget right up to that edge I've left a little gap here, we've got a bit of an orange tone, so we're going to get the burnt ochre. Um, and I'm just going to use the burnt ochre here. It's a bit more of an orangey tone. And then back to the nugget over the top so making sure it all blends smoothly together and again i'm just going to bring that nugget across all of this area okay and then i'm going to take the band out brown I think when I do these tutorials, I, I, I just I tend to chat about everything that's flying from my mind at once. So you probably get the same things over and over again, but maybe I should write everything down. Let me know what's going on if you've got any news. I'm doing a, um, a trade stand in May. Um, I'm just going to go to the Bista. Got a trade stand coming up in May, so for that I'm going to be doing some greeting cards and um, prints, and I'm going to draw live while I'm there, so that's exciting. Um, a beige red just to help blend this area together. Right now we've got the darker liner first, so I'm going in with my dark sepia. Let me just make sure I've got this correct here. That's so it's this area, okay. So it's this line with the dark sepia. And then blend it into all that colours that we've got going on. Blend upwards. And then I'm just going to grab that uh, Van Dyke Brown again, go over that sepia and blend outwards. I'm just going to take my black as well. I want it to be a little dark, especially in this corner. And it is a black tone. Um, and then my Caput Mortem for that little bit of fur. Uh, And the burnt sienna. And then I'm just going to use the warm grey two over the top here. And that just blends it all nicely together. And then we're going to get the warm grey one because we've got a bit of fur here. And that's curving downwards. Again, always looking at that fur direction. I'm going to take my Venetian red up here and then my Vista over the top of that. Take the warm grey two. There's a little, again, as usual, a little bit of back and forth, smoothing out all these colours. And then the copper on top of that. But hopefully you can see, if you've 
if you've done multiple tutorials or if this is the first tutorial you've done. Hopefully you can see how all these layers and blending them together smoothly we're creating a really nice blend between all these colours. Right, let's get this area uh, done. So we've got a lot of fur going on here. So again, make sure, let me just lift some of that graphite before we do that. Making sure that we're drawing behind the fur. And I'm using the beige red, light pressure. As our base layer here. I'm then going to take my put mortem and it's kind of coming from that patch of fur down into here. Very light pressure, I'm not pressing hard at all because we're just mapping in the shapes that we can see. So we're not pressing down hard. And I'm going to bring that put mortem over there. The Venetian red over the top, and again, I'm going to blend it over. This area is going to be quite pinkish in town. Going over the Kaput Martin with the Venetian Red. And then I'm going to take the Beige Red. Bit of a harder pressure but not too much. Just to help blend those together. Get the Sanguine. Because again this area is quite orange in tone. So all I'm doing is building up the colours. And as we do it and we're following direction and we're using our pencils to build up the layers, you get in the detail that you need. So then at the end it's just adding little amounts of detail like the little hairs that we've done. Go back to the Venetian red. Over the top. Okay. Right. And then the Kaput Mortem. And then I'm going to take the one grey two circular motion just to blend this area here. Again, blending in between areas that we've already got pigment down. So it all looks like it's all the same ear and it's all underneath that ear and those whiskers. It's quite a thick whisker there. I don't think it needs to be as thick as that. So I'm just going to use the one grey two just to... There we go. I'm also just going to go over this with the Colgrade 2 with this section. All the way up here, that's better. And then back to the Kaput Martem. And the Venetian Red. The Van Dyke Brown and the Van Dyke Brown I'm just using where we've got all these little hairs just to signify that this is behind this hair. Back to the Kaput Martem. And then the Beige Red. Harder pressure and that just helps smooth all of this out nicely. And then we've got another ear. So that ear didn't take me as long as I imagined. So let's get this part of the face drawn in and hopefully a little darker. So we're going to start with the cold grey one and then we can darken it up from there. And I'm going to cover all this side of the head with the cold grey one.
again as I'm doing this base layer I'm checking that fur direction actually I think that's going to be a bit more of a warm tone down here so we're going to kind of come to the bottom of this ear with a warm grey one that uh, cold grey one sorry it's because we've been using the warm greys This is a base layer. Have to get a new cold grey pencil out soon. Right, and then I'm just going to take my white because I know that this whisker is coming down. So I'm just going to press harder and bring that whisker all the way down. So these are like the orbital whiskers. You want to bring them down. And I'm doing it now because they'll add that little bit of resist that we want just now right so first of all i'm gonna get my warm gray one and i'm just gonna start following that fur direction building up the layers here very light pressure i'm not pressing hard just building up another layer of fur. You can see how it's just starting to darken this side of the face. And this is all just one grey one at the moment. We'll get a nice colour to the face here. And then I'm going to get my cold grey 2. And with the cold grey 2, we're just going to draw in the shape of this fur that's coming down by the ear. Now I'm not doing a big clump, I'm leaving gaps between each stroke. We want some of that lighter fur showing through. But as you add this cold grey to in, it's just going to add a nice depth to the fur. You can see I need a little bit more fur definition here. So I'm just going to take my uh, Van Dyke Brown and just bring in some more little clumps in this fur. Okay, now I want to bring in um, this marking a little darker, so I've got my warm grey too, and I'm just going to use medium pressure, and build up the marking a little bit, and it's going over the top of that cold grey fur, I'm just going to make it darker along the whole of this eye. Bring that cold grey too up into that head. So you can see we're just darkening this up and by doing this we're really starting to get that depth. Going back to the cold grey too, again I'm just going to bring in some of the depth for the fur. And then the white. I'm not pressing too hard with the white because we want those white whiskers to stand out. Just to help blend in. Okay, and then I'm going back to the nugget and I'm just going to put a little bit more of the nugget into this marking. In like little V's. So you can see how I've got like little V's going on. That's all I'm doing with this pencil. Bringing that 
down here for a little bit. Okay, I'm a lot happier with how darker this is coming out now. So back to the warm grey too. I'm just going to go over that cold grey area. Just bring in the more layers, we add the more depth we add into the fur. And again, I'm leaving gaps between each one, following that fur direction. And we've just built up some nice depth to the fur there. And then my Van Dyke Brown, and I'm just going to bring in some little flecks of colour in this ear and in this fur. So it looks like we've got these clumps of fur and the ear is still behind them. So again, just adding to that realism. And I'm doing the same down here. So I'm not pressing hard. But we're just building up that effect that that ear is just slightly showing through that fur. Okay, right, let's keep going down this face. So I'm just going to lift this graphite. Now we've got quite a, an orangey tone on the side of her face here. So we're just going to take, first of all, the one grey one. And again, follow that fur direction. I'm just going to lift that graphite a little bit more. Right. So applying the warm grey one over it and blending into that area that we've just done. So hopefully you can see, like obviously on this side of the face we used a lot of the cold greys. This side it's kind of a mixture but a lot of the warm tones. And this is what you just need to look for in your work when you're doing an animal. Look for those subtle changes. or it, They don't have to be subtle, but look for those changes between the cold areas and the warm areas. And that'll help you choose which, which of the colours to use. Because some of the colours all have different, like whether they're a cold tone or a, a warm tone within each pencil brand. Might do a video on that actually. Um, maybe it will have gone up beforehand. How you can have two blues, but one is a warmer tone and one is a cooler tone. I think that'd make a good video. Right, I'm going to take my brown ochre. Very light pressure, and we're just going to build in that orangey yellow tone that I can see along the side of the head here. And the beige red over that back to the brown ochre and then we take the copper just blending it nicely over that and then I'm going to take the warm grey, uh, am I going to take the warm grey too or do I want the cold grey again? I'm just going to take the cold grey, just in this corner, just following that fur direction, in the cold grey one. And yeah, that's okay. So we've got a bit of a mixture of the colours going on, and then the white. Going over all of that area that we've just drawn in. Then I'm going to take the warm grey too, and this is where you're going to start building up some of that detail. So make sure you've got a sharp pencil, following that reference photo, and just build up where you can see that the different shades of brown I'm going to use the warm grey too to help us do that. Blending outwards. So whenever we're blending, we're making sure that we're tapering those strokes. Leaving pressure as we're lifting that pencil off the paper. That's all we're doing. Uh, back to the nugget.
and then the beige red I'm going to use very lightly but we do have that pinkish tone coming from that marking over the warm grey areas and then I'm just going to take my warm grey one over all of that and blend it outwards take the beige red just blend get that pinkish tone running through this side of the face okay right i'm just going to darken some more of this marking up so back to the nugget Just making sure that that shading's correct and how we want it to be. Back to the warm grey two. And then I've got the nugget again, just making sure we can see that these whiskers are there. The warm grey two. Remember, they're creating a shadow. We want these whiskers to look like they're in front of his head or her head. Switch between the two. <laughs> the nugget again. And then I'm just going to take that Venetian red and blend this out. So we're blending this eyelid outwards. That Venetian red. And then you take the gold use that gold to help you get that blend here as well and then the warm grey one over the top okay i'm just going to take that gold very lightly with the gold just to create some little fur details from these markings so right i just want to darken that little bit of a head so one gray one we're just going to blend this upwards so we're creating that fluffy top of the head and then you can take your cold gray one and i'm just going to press harder now and just really darken this section of the nose build up that off on the head and then I think we're going to leave this one here because we've got the other ear in and we've got this side of the face to a similar point as the other face uh, as the other side of the face sorry about the washing machine if you can hear that <laughs> just taking my white now in this middle just to blend uh, but yeah we're in a nice point to stop so so I've just got this in. Um, let's zoom you out. So you can kind of see that both sides of the face are more or less a similar point. Could have brought the fur down a little bit more on here. But what I want to do next in the next part of the tutorial is get this nose drawn in. Because we really need to get the shape of this nose in to get the shape of this face. So the next part will be this pink nose and the muzzle and fur around the nose. Um, we may may look at getting the face done. Um, once we've got the face done, which has taken a little bit longer, it's quite complicated. Uh, not complicated, just a lot to do. Uh, but once we've got this fur done, um, we will be doing the body, which hopefully won't take as long. We've got a little bit of like the blanket that uh, this kitten is sat on. Um, that's mainly pure black so it won't take us that long so hopefully we will have another tutorial finished so I hope you've enjoyed this part any questions as usual just let me know don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one bye everybody